and I'm tired, but also like so happy and amazed. <laughs> and I'm really excited about crafting tonight. I would like you guys to give me a shout out to check on the old audio. Looks like we're just getting connected. Not connected to live chat. Can we get that connected? Mm -hmm. Connect that up there. And while that's doing that, I'm going to gather some more bits and pieces from my craft room. Some more inspiration for tonight. Hi, Ellen. Oh, you're tired too. Yes, it's been a long week, <laughs> but absolutely amazing. Hi, Diana. Oh, good, loud and clear. Woohoo! Hello from steamy Rochester. Oh, it is steamy here too. It's super hot. Although the craft room's only 25 degrees at the moment, it um, it can reach over 30 some some nights. Look, Janita says the audio sounds great. Yeah, high five, Craig, but not too loud. Yay! Oh, that's amazing. I just want to explain what this is. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, just so that <laughs> everyone is aware, I have, well, that's a lie, Craig has, thank you Craig, put the comments up onto the video stream so you guys will see when I see the comments, if that makes sense. Um, also, it was a bit hard for me to look at the text, look at what I'm actually currently recording and then a few minutes later it um, shows up on um, the comments so it's a little hard to keep track of it so let us know your thoughts if you like it if you don't like it thumbs up thumbs down me me face <laughs> so Rhonda says looking forward to September stamp delivery order. yay woohoo I know it's so exciting I am just absolutely blown away Thank you, massive, massive thank you for being one of our supporters. And uh, Snow says, didn't know if you would do one tonight. Um, yes, I was planning to. I plan to do them every Friday at least if I can't give you guys some notice. But I've been trying to be getting better at organizing, making something earlier in the week and putting up some some supply lists and things. But it just didn't work this week at all with the Kickstarter on Monday, which was just amazing. Um, I'm, I'm just in awe still, smiling from ear to ear. We reached 100 um, backers today. I got a lovely email. It was like, whoa, we've got 100 backers. And I think we're on 102 now as well. And, uh, and Nancy's here too. Hi, Nancy. <laughs> and Sue's hello so the Kickstarter's going well and we had a great start but there's still lots to do and it's been a little bit manic in the day job as well but that'll that'll, that'll uh, calm down in a week or two so I'm really excited about getting to craft tonight so Janita says audio sounds great yay um I'm really excited about that. Craig and I did some other testing this week with some private videos. And I, <laughs> um, we, yeah, we thought that this would work, but we thought that before. So it's kind of hard to know until we get here. So happy for your Kickstarter hitting the goal so fast. Yeah. I, Gosh, I saw it. It was like 24 minutes, I think. After seven minutes, we were over 20% there. And then after 24, we reached the goal and I just couldn't even believe it. it was, like I say, I was just floored. I had to pick my job off the floor. Sue says she's ordering on Wednesday. Yay, 
Thank you, Zeus. Oh, amazing. Uh, also, some comments here to say that you like the comments up there. Cool. Oh, yes. I'm, I wanted to say that if you guys have seen... Oh, yes. Can they see that, Craig? Yeah. Woohoo! So, look, we're on 102 backers. And we're on 5,497 pounds. Yay! Woo! -hoo. I'm very, very excited. And uh, Nancy says, I tried to do the Kickstarter, but they don't take my credit card. Oh, Craig, can we do something? We'll see if we can do something about that, Nancy. I'm not sure what we can do, but we'll figure something out for you. Send me an email, please, so I don't forget. That'd be great. Go to Hungry Heavy Crafts, or even, no, actually, Heavy Doodle. There's a contact us or stay in touch page. You send us an email and we will figure that out for you. So I was about to say that my craft way to happiness, I don't know if that's going to work, bing, <laughs> um, is Yoshi Lion or Maria, but she changed her YouTube name to match her blog. Just to make things simpler on us, and we've got Salma here, hey Salma, here, yeah. and Angharad, hiya, Angharad, I've seen you on, um, on Facebook as well, I think, we had a little comment, thank you. Love you guys. Martina, happy Friday. Hi, Martina. Thank you so much for supporting us. <gasps> Yay. <laughs> Ellen says that her brother liked the alligator. That's so cool. Um, if I back today, do I get charged immediately? Because I do, I do it now if it's after payday. You do not get charged immediately. The money gets taken after the Kickstarter ends, 100% on that. We've checked that. Um, so the money will be taken after Kickstarter, the second it ends. Second it ends. So it's ending at midnight at the end of July. So it'll be taken right then. Guys, I want to make a card tonight, but I want to do, um, I want to mix my stamps. <laughs> I want to mix my stamps. I want to use some Heffy Doodle. You done, Craig? Okay. I want to mix my Heffy Doodle with some of my other favorite, do you like my little box, isn't it cute? Um, with some of my other favorite stamps and dies. I have been really, I've been, when I was doing my videos and things for Heffy Doodle, obviously from a marketing point of view, I'm trying to keep it Heffy Doodle, Heffy Doodle. But now, under my Come Craft With Me guys of Hungry Heffy, which is me just being crafty, then I want to mix it up. So, guys, I am taking this from the top. I have no idea what I'm going to turn out, uh, what it's going to turn out like, which uh, I'm not sure if that annoys you guys, in which case I'm really sorry. And I'll try to be more organized so that you can craft something along with me if you do prefer that but I thought you might actually like to see my crafty process as well and I am absolutely all up for you guys giving some suggestions but so far my rough idea was either I had thought that I could maybe um I could either have um, like a thank you card for teachers. I could maybe do something like that. That was one thought. But then I also, I really, with all these stamp sets, I've been really wanting to make a little picnic scene. So I thought it'd be really cute to have them make like eating something. Um, and I also have a stamp set, which is a honey bee stamp set somewhere is this one here it's called blah bunny but it has this um like a rug and i thought that would be a picnic blanket that might be fun as a picnic blanket so i had that as a thought but i could either do like a picnic on a beach or picnic in like a forest those were my two ideas but i don't know so I'm, i am wanting you guys to help me out here stacy says is everyone else seeing the stream Mine says waiting on Leslie. Oh no. You can try clicking the live button. Um, kind of, ah, not very good at this. Down here, there should be like the pause and play button. And next to it, there's the word live. And if you click on it, it tends to. Hmm? 
Oh, well, someone else, Craig, you work, you type that up. <laughs> so we've got um, picnic signs, good. Oh, Stacey, she's working now. Close it out, reopen and it's working. Yay, love to have you, Stacey. Picnic idea in the woods. We like the idea of that, so. Okay. Is Oh, I wanted to show you guys something because I think we talked about it a little while ago. Let me grab it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I have no idea where it is. Let me see. Here it is. I never had a, I never used to have a problem finding it, but look at my sad little foam roll. It is so sad. Look, it's already at the end. And I love this guy. I really liked it. So I told you guys that I had bought another foam roll off eBay or something like that, bought it from China. And it came and it was big and it was cheap and massive. And um, it, it all seemed so amazing, but it's so, it's just super sticky. Like, like look at that, it's just I'm shaking it. It's just too sticky and it gums up all my scissors, but <laughs> Vump! look at this beast. So I found this website that is, I think a UK based website and it's called tapes to go or something like that. I'll have to get a link if you guys are interested. And it was about half the price of the 3M one. And I haven't used it yet, but I am excited. I'm gonna try that out today. And if this, if, if I don't like this one, then I'm just gonna bite the bullet and do another one of these. So this one is a bit thicker, but I thought that when you cut it in half, then, um, that would still work so we shall see I love the picnic idea says Janita in the woods okay we've got a vote for the woods Ellen says go to the beach just where I want to be oh thank you Dale yay Dale's congratulating us mosquitoes are in the woods hey Denise you've not miss, missed much oh Les there's a great deal on Amazon oh for this oh no I need to do that. It's a really thick roll for £34. Oh, cool. I shall have to check it out. Oh, I mean, I'll have to check it out whenever Craig's not here to listen to me. <laughs> oh, I hate spending money on the essentials. Right, so what are we thinking? Are we going to do beach or woods? Either way, let's start stamping. Where is my stuff? Oh, Snow, I wanted to tell you I ordered my um, Claire Fontaine paper today. And I can't wait for it to come because I'm pretty much at the, um, the end of the little samples that you sent me that I loved. So I'm really excited to get that. Can you pop them over there, my dear? Thank you. So I'll just have to use some Nina Solar White at the moment. Cut this down. The 3M foam tape, same as our thin one, but two inches wide. Oh, okay. I'll have to check it out. If it's two inches wide, you'll get a lot of real estate out of that, definitely. That sounds lots of fun. Oops, let's grab my Misty. What are you up to, Mr. Roman? Social media, social media, I think. Okie dokie, oh here, I've already got one of these. Woods, beach, oh no, you can't choose different ones. <laughs> Let me grab my usable stump sets those were the ones that i had kept nice and pretty i hadn't touched them i just used them for photos and things 
And these are the ones, because I'm not the best at cleaning my stamps all the time. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Definitely want him because he needs something tucked in his hands, doesn't he? Um, we're definitely going to have our little wine glass. Mm, maybe a cupcake would be nice. Cake, definitely. Cheese, mm, I don't know. Maybe a wine bottle for sure. Oh, yes, a plate, definitely. Hi, Tally. How are you, my dear? What is DCP paper? DCP paper is a um, a paper by the company Clairefontaine, Clairefontaine, if you want to be French about it. And it's really smooth. So I really like that. It's really smooth, so it feels nice, and it's white. So the thing that's bugging me is that this is off-white. You might not be able to see very much, but this is white, 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 so it doesn't quite match. But the Clairefontaine one is white, which I do like a lot. I think next week I'm going to do a teacher card or something. Oh yes, I think he needs a burger. Hmm, maybe another cookie. Some cookie cookies. Yeah, so the Clairefontaine paper is awesome with Copic markers. Gotta have ice cream at the beach, right? Are we doing the beach? We're we doing the beach. Hey, Bunny Dubby. Hey, happy doodlers, she says. Okay. So, what other critters can we have? So, if we're going to do beach, I was going to do these guys, some of these. If I was going to do the woods, I was going to have some, like, woodland critters. Ah learn something new yeah you get a big so my ream of paper was like 10 11 pounds but it's like as far as i can see quite thick so <laughs> so will you make a card for me says maria i'm a teacher oh well i've got <laughs> piper's got te piper's got teacher and then the teacher's ill so she's got a replacement teacher and then she's got two teaching assistants and she's got a childminder so I've got my work cut out for me <laughs> okay bunny dobby you're just um lurking there we're trying to decide you're going to have the final vote I think shall we do picnic at the beach or picnic in the woods what's your thoughts And you will be our deciding vote. In the meantime, I will cut out a sun using some yellow cardstock. Does this work? Yeah. <laughs> Was worth a try. Absolutely. I just think of all the cards I'm going to be able to make in a few weeks when everything's calmed down a bit. Okay, so I've cut this out of some coloured cards, uh, coloured, um, yeah, cardstock, um, it's like scrapbooking paper. Beach, beach, beach. I'm for the beach too. Beach. Okay, cool. Let's do that then. We don't need, well, we don't need these critters. We might use those other stamps. And we don't need, I was thinking about using these as the trees. We don't need that. But we will need some beachy accessories. Did you get your social media eyes in done, Peggy? Bye.
that crab is too cute. <laughs> Should we have the crab join the party as well? Might as well. Although I don't have the dice for these, so I'll have to do it old school. But that's okay. So, I hope you guys aren't going anywhere tonight because it looks like I might be um, colouring for most of the night. Maybe a little shell and a starfish. Yeah, I'll keep them busy. Would that paper work with the Zig Clean colours also? Oh, that's a good question, Janita. I, I don't know because I don't have Zig and um, I haven't tried it, therefore. But what I do know is that the Zig will work really well with Bristol cardstock and my DCP paper, the samples that Snow sent me, it's really smooth, it's almost like coated, and that's the same sort of feeling as Bristol. But Snow might know better. Oh, Snow says it'll peel up. Ah, that's a shame. But if you haven't tried Bristol, you could try Bristol. It's expensive though, because it's like an artist grade paper thing. But it's worth it. Zig needs watercolour. Well, yes, it's a watercolour um, medium, isn't it? So something with a bit more tooth, like a, a watercolour paper. A lot of the watercolour paper that you get is textured. But if you get the hot press, it tends to be smoother. But like I say, the Bristol, I've heard really good reports of that. <laughs> Sandcastle is so cute. Yes, it is cute. How are we doing? This guy's paused, don't want to. I need to get my good press. The Bristol I have says it's for dry mediums. Yeah. I think you just dry anything. Sometimes you don't know what's going to work until you try it. Janita says she has the Bristol smooth but think it's too thick. Because when I die cut you can see the edges of the dies. Oh yeah, that totally makes sense. So the dies and um, like make an embossed line into it like around the outside there's like a or debossed maybe is the right term a debossed thing all the way around, around the outside i get what you mean okay so i've got one of these Oh, sorry. I've got this, um, and it is one of the Lonfon new dies that someone sent me, Snow sent me, and also I've got a couple of, like, one will that be to put in the background? Although that looks like it's a very choppy sea out there, doesn't it? Could have something a bit flatter. But I, I quite like it, I think it's fun. You off? Mm -hmm. Have fun. I'm just going to die cut um, a rectangle out of some white cards that I've got a base to work on. I'll move my bin over there. Hi, Tammy. Good to have you with us for another Friday night fun time. A couple of people were saying, oh, Lizzie, you're my Friday like night date night. <laughs> so I love hanging out with you guys on my Friday night date night. 
CCP paper is loose layered paper. So it's very easy for the layers to come off each other. So peel very easily. Oh, I see. The things you learn. Tally says, I love how your stamps go so well with Lunfon. That was kind of, well, I wouldn't say that was the, the, the point, but I love Lunfon. I love Mama Elephant and I love the, like, the thick line. I think it's really easy to colour. I think it um, stamps beautifully and I don't know, it's got like a cartoony look to it. And that's kind of what I was going for. My dear friends. So we'll need a little mound here. That way my grass won't need you if I'm going to go to the beach. <laughs> Perfect day at night. <laughs> I think it's great the way that um, we can share all of our tips and things with each other. It's awesome. Right, I'm just looking through the old stash of dyes. Let's see. I think this one would work well. And I could probably just use the bottom of this, to be honest. Hey, where's my... Oh, I've packed up half of my craft room because I'm going to a craft fair tomorrow. And oh my gosh, I have so much stuff that I just need to get rid of. I used to I used to do a lot of scrapbooking as Crafty Sue's will know because she was right there with me. Um, and I also worked as a demonstrator for Trimcraft, which is like a, I think it's a UK based company anyway. Um, and I worked for them going around craft shops and doing demos. They also did some do craft demonstrations back in the day. And I have just got so much stuff from all their collections because they would send you everything. A lot of it's like six by six pattern paper pads and things like that or stickers or toppers. And I'm, I, I stored it for far too long, and I don't, I don't see me using it. So I, I just kind of got annoyed. I was like, right, we, I kept saying that like, we need to do a car boot sale, but with car boot sales, the problem is if it rains, as it frequently does in England, then everything's ruined because it's all paper, paper based. So I find a local village and they do a craft market every month but to be honest it's actually more for finished crafts if you if you like so jewelry we've got um yeah we've got, we've got jewelry and like woodwork and like key rings and hair bows and lots of things like that i've been there before just to have a, a nosy but I, yeah, I phoned them and was like, listen, this is what I would like to do. Is that something that you would even consider? And they were like, yeah, sure, come along, which is really nice. Okay, guys, so here I wanted to, to test this, or not test this, I wanted to share something with you because I've got my background and I've got my beach what will be my sand and this is going to be up here at the top looking pretty and then I'll have my C here but can you see I've got stitching along the bottom and up the side but then it stops here and um, I want to put stitching all around these three sides so here's a little tip for you Take your, not your seat, not your cutting plate, the bit that goes underneath. So where you have your blade pointing down, the one that's on top, use that. Put your die facing up. 
and hold on, I'm gonna see if I can get action on my post-it note tip. Here it is. And then take your other piece and butt it up to the corner as best you can. And then stick it down, but stick it to the C plate. Put this on top. Obviously, you want to flip it over, and um, so the cutting blade is still going on your cutting mat section. And then fire it through the machine. Oh, look at that. That's so nice, Maria. Maria is going to give Janita some samples. So she can try the paper. That's awesome. You guys are the best. I've said it before. I'll say it again. So it does cut through the post-it note paper because obviously there's a blade there. And sometimes, especially if it's washi tape, I just leave it on the back. I don't even bother pulling it off. But it's easy to pull this stuff off. So that's nice. Cynthia, I wanted to say hi and leave because I have work early in the morning. Oh, thank you so much. It looks like we are doing a lot better on sound and things this week. Last week, poor Craig, he gets so wound up and he, yeah, he is just, he's not a happy bunny whenever the sound and the pictures and stuff doesn't work out for him. So he was like, I don't, I don't really think it's good enough to be up there. It's not portraying the right image type of thing so the last week's one we didn't make public I think we just had a link I know I sent um, some of the thing was um, Tiffany or someone the link to it so she could watch it and if you want the link let us know sweet dreams Cynthia my darling sweet dreams Okay, so now I have my sweet little stitching. On my background. On my sky, I mean. And on the side of my water. And on my very albino beach. Oh, do you know what I should do is actually stamp the little boat. Wouldn't that be fun? Although you might not see them by the time we get all of these critters on there. Oh, lovely jubbly. Right, so let's grab some of the distress inks. When we were setting up tonight, Craig was like, there's stuff all over this mat. What is it that's on this mat? I was like, Craig, it's, it's just yellow ink. It's a dye ink. It dies. <laughs> I don't think he was too happy about it. He's like, what? No way. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do some tea dye, maybe. And some vintage photo. I always wonder about beach colours. What's your favourite beach colours, everyone? I'm sure I asked somebody a little while ago what they did for beach. And I, maybe it was scattered straw. No, it seems too yellow. I don't know. What's your favourite beach? Beach, um, beachy tones. In distress inks, if um, you have have one. In the meantime, Piper's been here. Look, they're all upside down. I can tell Piper's been here. Right, there is a coral one that is perfect for crabs. Where is it? Oh, that might work actually. Light prawn. Every time I think of that, it's like, um, have you seen the Muppets? Oh, I don't know which one it is. Don't, it's not like the Christmas Carol one, but there's one where it goes, I am not a shrimp, I am a king prawn. And it's the funniest. 
Love it. Oh, he's a wee bit too prony looking. Might need to darken that boy up. Cadmium orange, no. No. Salmon red. Maybe that's what I'm looking for. Oh yes, that's much better. For my little crabby. Oh, in a few weeks. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Antique linen. Oh, nice. With a little bit of tea dye. Okay, scattered straw, antique linen tea dye. Okay, let me get my antique linen. Where are you? Antique linen. Oh, it's down at the bottom. That's probably why I never see it. It's down at the bottom. Antique linen, tea dye, scattered straw as well. Okay, a couple of options there. Cool. Yeah, so I was just about to say that in a few weeks we're going up to Scotland and our uncle Jimmy has a boat and he goes out on the creels and we fish for lobsters and crabs and it's amazing and we have a normally a barbecue with a bit of surf and turf which is awesome Okie dokie. So I think we'll leave the ketchup at home today. <laughs> we'll not do a ketchup bottle this time. <laughs> Muppets from Space. Oh, is that what it is, Craig? Muppets from Space. And little shrimp. And I'm a king prawn. I'm probably going to need to do a couple of other... Um, plates and things mm -mm. I'm just winging it here I'm not really paying much attention to what I'm picking I think that's my theme for today Michelle's here hey Michelle Good to have you. Okay, we need some sandy. I think maybe we need to go a little bit more yellow with this sand castle. Wire 31. Oh, yeah. As Piper would say, oh, yeah. Looking a bit better, I think. A bit more sandy. Donna's been um, watching the tennis. That is not something for me. I'm not a well, to be fair, I'm not really a sport person at all. <laughs> yeah, I will definitely stick to the crafting rather than sport. Let's see how this is turning out. Have you decided on the scene you're making? Yes, I'm going to do a beach picnic. That's the plan anyway. Not sure if it's going to work out so far. I should probably pick a couple of colours and stick to them instead of just going rogue like this. It's just the way I roll. And a little bit dark bits were in here. You can always add a couple of little highlights with a white gel pen. Anyone at all? So my best friend, sorry, oh, missed some, hold on. Pinkish salmon is my favorite summer color. 
<laughs> my best friend when I was little, her family was from Scotland. Oh, cool. Yes, we are going up to see Craig's familia. And it's been a long time since we've seen them. It's actually really fun because Craig's brother, who actually lives in London, which is not that far away from us, we probably see him once a year, which is awful considering that it's actually really quite close, you know. Yeah, we probably see him like once a year, twice a year if we're lucky. And his wife, also called Leslie, I think I told you this before. Um, him and his wife are going to go up. At, hopefully at the same time, so we get to see them as well, which will be much, um, much fun for all of us. Although I say her name's Leslie, technically her name is Leslie. She spells it different, L-E-S-L-E-E, -E -E. and I'm L-E-S-L-E-Y, um, but she's from America, so she calls it says Leslie. I've noticed that too, that sometimes when people, um, I'm speaking to my crafty friends from the States, they will say Leslie, not that it really matters. It doesn't bother me at all. Whatever they call me, being called worse. <laughs> Might need to use the castle as a server. <laughs> All right. Let's get some mid tones in this little guy. I'm like, so my craft fair that I'm going to tomorrow. I've decided I'm just going to go and craft. I'm going to be like, yep, whatever you want to buy, you can buy. But if you just want to sit and craft with me, then that will also work. I am cool with that. I will much, absolutely appreciate just sitting and crafting for a couple of hours. <laughs> it's been a while. Well, apart from my crafting with you guys on a Friday night. It's been a while since I've just sat and relaxed, crafted, if you know what I mean. Oopsies. Let's give you a little pink nose. So guys, I am, um, what would you call these guys? So this, this guy, my friend Richard calls him Eric. I think his name is Eric. And um, one of the, one of the other Heffy Doodlers, I should call her, who is called Kim. She has a, she has a, what's it called? A dog, it's a dog, that's what it's called, but what's the type of dog, I'm trying to think. Uh, it's not a greyhound. Is it a greyhound? I can't think. Um, she's got a dog called Archie, and Archie's got like an overbite. So she she calls him Archie. <laughs> Quite fun. So Craig was saying we should name them all things. Have you guys got a favourite Heffy Doodle stamp set yet? Do, 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 do. Oh, that didn't quite work out. It was too bright. G21 might work better. Yeah. To blend them together a bit. I like Archie. <laughs> Morning, Elizabeth Lucy. Is Elizabeth Lucy your first name? Or is Lucy your middle name? Because I always call you with the, the full Elizabeth Lucy. And I feel a bit like I'm middle naming you, if you know what I mean? Oh, he's a bit saturated. I'm going to have to let him cool down a bit and dry up before I add any more colour to him. Eric the Gator. <laughs> Yeah, snappy. Okay, yeah, yeah. 
the elephants and interactive layers. Janita loves the lions. Nephilim stops it. It's a tie for me, the cheesy one and the elephants, crocs and elephants. Ah, oh, I think crocs and elephants, <coughs> excuse me, crocs and elephants and bears. Not necessarily in that order. I don't know, it, it kind of mixes up. Oops. Um, one minute, I think. Oh, everyone, when we, when we first sent out all the samples to people, the elephants was like the clear winner and then then all of a sudden it was the crocs that was the winner not that there's really a winner hello little chocolate cake and the strobes <laughs> It's a tie between the Simbas and the Crocs. <laughs> and Lisa says, all of them. What you doing? Craig's here to test something. Don't mess it up. And we will totally blame you if it all goes wrong. Who else are we going to blame? I don't know what he's going to do, guys, but trust him. Every now and again. All right. Oh, that's too high. Too much. Right, ice cream. I think we need to go for a strawberry, um, maybe a mint. Do you think mint ice cream? I think a mint would go down well. And what other flavour? <laughs> All my special people call me Elizabeth Lucy or EL. Or does that mean EL or L? That's sweet. Penguins and raccoons should be your next round. <laughs> yes, um, Elizabeth sent me some suggestions as well. Please do feel free to send me some suggestions um, through the Heffy Doodle Doodle. <laughs> Heffy Doodle Doodle. The Heffy Doodle web page where it says like contact me or something to that effect. You can let me know your thoughts and if you have any um, suggestions for future stamp sets I will most gladly take these suggestions and see what I can come up with I've got some ideas already to be honest this one is a what do you call that lolly, Craig? Is it fab? Is it a fab lolly that has the three things with the sprinkles on the top? Yeah. Is that what it's called? This is a fab lolly. Yeah. What's that happening? So I added cards. Craigie has added some cards. If you press the I at the bottom. The top. Oh, sorry, the top, the top right. There is an, a little eye information and it says, which is your favorite stamp set? That's clever. Look at you, you and your analytics. Mint chalk chip is my favorite. <laughs> and Nancy says she works in an ice cream and burger. Look, ice cream burger. This one was made for you then, eh? What did you say? You want to go to there? I want to go to there. Yeah, I'd like to go to that too. And we'll leave you a big tip full of stamps. Mm -hmm. I don't like chocolate ice cream. I'm just putting it out there, guys. I'm sorry. I don't like chocolate ice cream. I like chocolate. I don't like chocolate ice cream. Selling 
some tomatoes. Maybe it's a loop-de-loop. -loop. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Ah, oh, I think you're right. Mmm. I need another one on top. Are we going to go for chocolate? Okay, let's go for chocolate. Craig, I think it's a loop-de-loop. -loop. Loop. What? You've never heard of a loop-de-loop? -loop? Go and Google it. Hmm? Apart from on a plane. <laughs> Oh, I've got another ice cream over here. Let's do the same over there. Um, mint. Giraffes and sea turtles. Actually, I have got um, some doodles in my craft, in my sketchbook of underwater critters. And one of them is a sea turtle. So you never know. You never do. Strawberry. And the chocolate. And I'm going to do a yellow cup. Because why not? This one has kind of bled a bit. So we'll give that another blendy blend. Eric, what are you playing at? Sometimes I think it looks like a mess and then whenever you kind of step back a bit, it's fine. Do a bit of tip to tip action to get a bit of a variation of colour. And then tomorrow night we have got um, barbecue, which I am looking forward to. Barbecue and board games. Oh, did I? I don't think I've told you you guys yet, or maybe I have. Um, but next week we've got a blog hop. Blog hop on next Saturday. <laughs> so I hope that you guys are going to join us for that. It's going to be epic. I just cannot wait. I'm going to give him brown lumpy bumpies on his back. And I'm probably going to need to stamp a couple more like glasses and things and the bottle. We'll figure that out. Turtles would be fun for the next release. My boys are reading Meerkat Madness <laughs> and it's so much fun. Meerkat. Meerkats would be fun. Uh, do you know what? Meerkats doesn't... Um, has Meerkats been done before? Like in... Does any of the... I was going to say the big scam companies, but I mean, the ones that I follow are um, like Mama Elephant, My Favourite Things, um, Long Fawn, obviously. Has those guys done meerkats before? I don't know whether I've seen meerkats. That would be fun. Looking for bright green palm trees. We'll see how much I actually fit onto the um, card. Quite a lot going on here. Oh, nearly fell out. Jealous of your Copic collection, Nancy says. Oh, <laughs> it is, um, I, I'm very blessed to have a fairly decent one while well, it is I'm sure most people will think that it is massive I got a whole collection on um, 
eBay or something like that. I can't remember, but somebody was selling like 40 or 50 of them. And I, and I think I paid like a pound each for them, which is really good value. This is bleeding. This browns are bleeding a lot. Yes, yeah, so it's really good value, I think, pound each. And I got a whole load of them for that um, price, so I can't complain at all. Mm -mm -mm. 31. Stacy wants wolf pumps. <laughs> So yeah, at the top of the screen, you should see a little I button. If you click on that, I've set up a little poll so everyone can answer the question, which is your favorite Heffy Doodle Stamp set? He's the best, isn't he? I think I'll keep him for another 10 years. Wolf Pups for Stacy and more wild critters. <laughs> oh, you got yours from eBay too, did you? Yep, yeah, that's good fun. It's always, it's always nice when you're like, yes, I found a bargain. Woo Definitely. Keeps us happy. Although it's one of those things that you can't get them all because they'll be snapped up so quickly. Instead of doing that, I'm going to have pink frosting. And blue muffin case. And I think I'll do pink frosting for this guy as well. Chocolate cake with a little strawberry frosting. Wolves. <laughs> when I click on the eye, it seems to take me to the Kickstarter page. Oh, really? Let's see. Oh, I can't do it. Oh, I'm going to mess it up. Okay. The tiny eye in the circle way up the top right corner. Thank you very much, Bunny Dobby, for. I don't like this. Is it too discolored? I don't know. Um, let's get my other shell done. And my starfish. And I need to do my bottle, although I'm really scared of doing, I'm really scared of doing bottles now. <laughs> I'm not very good at them. I need to sit and watch Sandy Allnock or someone do bottles and see if I can make it work. Maybe I'll just give a hint of colour. It'll just be clear lemonade. <laughs> and put a little pinky pinky doodah on it. Okay, so I'm going to leave these because I'm, I'm not sure what colour I'm going to do them yet. I'll move on to my inky. So we had anti- oh where's my foam bit? No the castle looks amazing. Yay! Thank you! It feels like it's um Kind of the wrong colours or something, but I don't know. We'll just make it work. See if I can find a spare foam pad. Seeing as I've lost the one from the, bot the bottom of my antique linen. I put a little Velcro bit on them. Yeah, nice and juicy. Oh, yes. 
It's already starting to look like sand. So while I'm doing this, you guys need to think about what color my picnic blanket needs to be. Oops. Put some orange squash. That's a great idea. Yes. Orange squash. <laughs> Can I mess that up, do you think? <laughs> I think orange squash would work fine. Bit of tea dye. I think tea dye is the very first distressing that I got. Rogue hair. To darken up my edges, make it the pop. What are you guys making this week, or any plans for other things you're making? I thought, oh, I've missed something here. My daughter, 21 year old artist, tries to steal them. What is she stealing? I've obviously missed something there. Uh, uh, uh. Kickstarter has shown us that when you ask crafters which one they like, most of them say everything. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> funny. It's true. We've been actually really surprised at the amount of people that will um, pick everything. Well, I say we've been surprised. We've been obviously pleasantly surprised that um, that is, um, it's very interesting anyway. It definitely is. But I think I'd be the same. Scottish tartan. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm colouring a hundred bookmarks for first graders. Wow. I hope you've got, I was going to say I hope you've got a good moving on, but you're obviously, I hope you've got a really good craft life, craft show sitting on. <laughs> Trying to make a summary birthday card for lawn fanatics, but I've been too unwell to do much. Oh, personally, yeah, you've had a rough time of it. stinks. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. I think I'm probably going to need at least another one or two of um, the palm trees. <laughs> we are having And we're having Pokemon Go in the park get together. I'm making posters for all the events, uh, tables and to say park clothes. Oh, that would be so awesome. I'd love that. We played Pokemon Go um, last year for a bit. We kind of, I don't know why we, fe oh, I know why we, I fell out of it, was my phone just couldn't cope with it. And then I got frustrated with it. I'm learning how to watercolor with my oxide inks from Love from Lizzie. Oh, I love Lizzie. And I'm using a basic watercolour paper from the works and it turned out really good the first time. Good for you. That's awesome. Right, dyes time. Oh no, plaid time. Okay, so this here is my blanket. So we're gonna do some plaid probably. Where's my dye? Here we go. It came in the post yesterday and I'm having fun. Yay! I saw that um, uh, Lizzie has the love from Lizzie is here. Our LFL is here. Hashtag is on her um, 
group and things and everyone like posts a little picture when their kit arrives and oh it's so adorable I love watching everybody with um, all their kits arriving it's so fun working all weekend but playing with my Simon Says Stamp Kit I would love to get a Simon Says Stamp Kit apart from the fact that I um, don't have any time <laughs> And it like it it just takes ages to get here. But it's another one of those things that might be on my list. Sorry guys, I'm close to the big shot. This is how you die cut whenever you're too lazy to get your snips just knit them all apart. <laughs> the cool thing about this die is that you can layer it up like paper piecing which is what we can do if we want to have like a little border on the uh, on our little rug. Just got a couple of oxide inks, I'm impressed, and got some Lindy's Stamp Gang Magicals. I don't know what that is, but that sounds fun. I would like to know what that is. Okay, let's try and do a plaid. Or as we call it, a tartan. Is it big enough? It's big enough, but not very clear. got my tote here ready to take with me tomorrow. I think I'll put in oops, an acrylic block that will work. So are we going to go for green and red? Green and red you reckon? Green and red, a bit of mode lawn. And fire brick with maybe a bit of peeled paint. Let's see. I don't know how this is gonna work out. <laughs> Craig, uh, don't tell them that. It's so true. I give up whenever I caught Pikachu. <laughs> Isn't it, um, isn't it funny? I came home one day and Pikachu was in my kitchen and I was like, <gasps> and then by the time I actually got my stupid phone to work, oh, Leslie, you're being an idiot, um, Pikachu had disappeared. And, um, yeah, so that didn't work. And then I... So I, I, for eight, we, I can't even, where did I catch him, Craig, in the end? Do you remember? I don't remember where I caught him in the end. Wait, is Pikachu a girl or a boy? Is Pikachu a girl or a boy? I don't know. <laughs> is it helping yet? Or does it take six weeks for, oh, this is about Snow's uh, meds. Okay, so I'm using the edge of my stamp here because it has like two lines. So I thought that might be a fun way to add some, add some plaid. I don't know whether it's going to work out or not. <laughs> okay, so I've got that one and I'm going to add a little bit of smoke lawn. Mode lawn. Let's have a look and see what other options we have. This is a pretty one. Little dotty dot dots. Let's try that. Oh. 
Will it work out? Will it not? I'm not going to bother about that wrong piece because I figure that my animals are going to be sitting their little furry butts on top of here anyway. So I'm probably going to see very, very little of this plaid rug. They are highly intensive dye based pigment powders. Even a teeny whiny tiny bit burst with is it a bit like um is it called color burst is that what the is that the one that i'm thinking of color burst it's like um a pot with like powder in it i wonder if that's the same kind of thing I get the impression that this wouldn't look as weird if I had done my di my um, plaids, my tartan effect at more of an angle. But this is how you learn. I think Pikachu is a boy because he has a high voice. But wouldn't girls have high voices too? A little boy because they have a high voice. Oh yes, got it. I think it's a boy. I think. Yeah, I think it's a boy. I think that I think it's a boy. I want like a bold stripe for this one. I'm going to see what I can find. What have I got? Maybe like a straight balloon string or something. Oh, this, oh that's not really quite as bold. Just talking to myself as I hunt through my stash of stamps. Trying to find something that would be a bit darker and bolder. extra line on it. I think that would work. <laughs> sure it'll work in the end, Leslie. Yeah, I reckon so. Oh, this is a tough one to pull off. Hey, Megan. Oh, my word. I think this is one of those stamp sets that got free in a magazine or something, and sometimes they just don't want to come off at all they almost rip when you pull them and then sometimes you'll get ones that you just look at it and it falls off and that's why i oh there we go that's why i went into a bit more detail in the kickstarter video about the cling power and stuff because that was i was so fussy when i was getting my samples i said to craig I, i'm not getting one of those I'm not getting a, a stamp that like falls off I'm not having any of them no way Jose how is this working out do you reckon yes they're along the line of color brush bursts or brushos that's it that's what I'm thinking of brushos they're very fine powders. They look like so much fun. I've seen, I've seen a couple people use them actually. And they, yes, they look like lots of fun. And kind of like really unexpected results, if you know what I mean. I think you have to be the kind of person who is 
quite happy with unpredictability. I'm trying to finish my breakfast so I can kick my nine year old off the laptop and see YouTube. See YouTube on the. Oh. Thank you so much about the um, comment, Elizabeth, that um, it was a really good video. Thank you. It was. I think this might be too much. I think I might go for another dot. Um, it it took a little while, but it was lots of fun. It's the editing, the editing that um, bothers me. It bothers me in the fact that. I'm like, oh, I could just be crafting. But I know that lots of people love the, like the short videos and things, which is good. I've got another video actually that I'm working on. I'm probably gonna put it up this weekend. You know, like a eight, 10 minute video because the lives aren't for everyone. So yeah, hopefully I have that up maybe Sunday. How's it looking? What's everyone's thoughts on my makeshift plaid? <laughs> oh, Cheryl's here. Hey, Link Crafty Cards, my dear. There's another one who I've not seen much of because she's been pearly. Poor girl. Missed you, my darling. Cheryl and I, um, physically met at um, Creativation and we just hit it off. It was so much fun. Wasn't it, my darling? I think I bullied you a little bit. Come on, let's go do this thing. <laughs> right. I need to add some colour to the outside of this. I'm going to go for the green, but I'm going to go for the pale paint. Looking fabulous. I think you mean my plaid, right? Because I do not look fabulous today. Guys, I have had <laughs> the... I'm going to be totally dramatic here. I've had the worst day. We, okay, I'm going to walk you guys through it because I just... I'm going <laughs> to... Um, we woke up and... We weren't early, we weren't late, but it was a bit of a panic. And then I had a call at nine o'clock with someone from China. So I had to get on and get sorted and log into Skype and everything. And right from the get go, my computer would not let me log in. And um, I had to like phone around, like, is this happening to everyone? Is this just to me? What is happening? Don't know. And we finally got hold of someone. They raised a ticket and we had to wait around. And then the IT guys phoned and said, uh, you just need to go into one of the offices because your computer hasn't you haven't updated your password in a little while, so you need to go into the office. That's all the problem is. And I was like, no. The last time this happened, I was told that they updated my password so that it, it didn't expire. So I don't think that's what the problem is. And they're like, no, no, it's fine. Yes, we have to. So I don't want to go all the way into this office and then it doesn't work. No, no, you just need to get to the secure connection on the office. It's like, okay. So I drive in, there's traffic, of course. In the meantime, I'm um, trying to work. I've got a call, so I like dial in so that m in my ear is my call that I'm just listening to. Even though it's a call I'm supposed to be hosting, but I told everyone, right, I'm going to drive and um, dial in. I'll dial in too so that you guys can use my code but I won't be participating because I'll be driving. And then <laughs> I get, 
I, I'm dri still driving when the call's supposed to start and, and nobody's talking, nobody's there and I'm like, okay, something's wrong. So then somebody messages me and says, your Skype's not working. I think they like disabled my account or something nuts. <laughs> and, and then they were like desperate to get a call and it, it, was, it was just horrible. And I pretty much hung around for most of the day trying to get IT to fix my computer, but at the same time, um, knowing that there was all this chaos happening with stuff that I needed to be sorting out. And then it was just like everything. I left the center to get lunch and then I came back to the center, didn't realize that the office is closed for lunch. There was nobody to let me into the reception. And I had to wait around outside, even though the IT guy was like, check your computer. I'm like, I can't get into my computer. And then it was like one of those things where you go to the toilet and there's like no toilet paper. And you're like, oh, seriously. And then we came home. <laughs> and Piper's not that well. <sighs> and I just, it's like, I'm just going to... Um, Go and craft and have some fun. <laughs> and uh, yeah, well, I had to also get ready for my craft fair tomorrow as well. But it's all good. In the grand scheme of life, there's no, no big disasters. All right, I'm gonna die cut my little guys now. Get you out of the way. I'm so happy. Oh, it was so fab. I miss your love and energy. Oh, I miss you too. I can't wait to. Um, I hope you're going next year so we can meet up again and have another good giggle. It was just so much fun. So says you and your Kickstarter. I know I'm pointing this for you to have the best quality stamps. I've ordered all of them. Yay! Thank you so much. Oh, you guys are the best. And I just, the thing is, I just, I'm most excited about the fact that you're, you're going to, I know, make some freaking awesome cards and projects. It's already been so fun watching what people have created. Actually, um, Denise, she got a stamp set and she sent me some post and on the envelope, have I got it here? Oh no, I moved it. Um, on the envelope, she stamped the bear and put underneath Happy Meal. And so it came through the post and it had my bear on there. And uh, it was just so surreal. Yay! Look at this little guy. Hello. Hello. He, he was the one I did on my Kickstarter um, sample video thing. Anita's off to bed. Night night, my deario. Night night, my love. Sweet dreams. What else do I need? Here we go. What else can I fit on here? Sounds like a bad day. Yeah, I mean, there was more things that happened, but I just got tiresome even talking about it. <laughs> Move on. <laughs> oh, dear. It was, it was just, yep, one of those. And my boss was like, we need to sort these things. I'm like, I can't do anything. I'm so stuck. Well, after a day like that, it's either crafting or going to bed and pulling the duvet over your head. <laughs> oh no, it's never too warm for a duvet. Oh, I love my duvet. I also like my blanket, you know, whenever you're watching TV or something. Oh, I love a blanket. Oh, no. Um, I don't know. I just like to be cozy. Hello. He's going great. Here, so it's a challenge putting these back in the right um, in the right department.
compartments in the right packages. Let's get that in there. Sounds like you need happy mail. Yay! Kickstarter is doing well. I have had to wait for funds. Yeah, well, the thing is, it doesn't take the money until it's over anyway. But some people have said that to me, that they're waiting for their funds. I just love his little hands. I think he's going to have an ice cream. Ice cream? Nom, 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 nom. What's up, Craig? Oh, right, okay. Guys, if um, you're going to have to tell me because I'll be sitting talking away to myself. If um, the microphone gives out, it's just my battery. How is the sound? Some people said at the start that it was, it was good. But yes, that would be very good. Okay. Sure. Have fun. <laughs> Oops, that's the one I just stuck down. Right. No, I need an elephant. And that goes there. And one of these goes here. Cupcake die. What have I done with it? Have I put it in? Yep, I've put it in here. Silly sausage. Phew! Snow is heading off to bed. Sweet dreams, my darling. Feel better soon. I'm going to see this card come together tomorrow. <laughs> What a challenge, crafting and chatting, though you are the queen of multitasking. Well, not sure about that. Well, I have um, had plenty of practice in my job, trying to run multiple office centers, business centers. Now I did I drop that. This little guy down. So this guy also has got um, die cuts in his hand. These these have definitely been the most popular um, dies. I've even had people say that they have a scan and cut or whatever, but they still want to buy the dies for the bears and the crop because of the little internal cut lines. Which I think is so fun. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. I really need to get one of those. Somebody said to go to a, like an auto parts store and get a, a bowl which has a magnet in it. I definitely need to do that so that I can just put all my dies to the side while I'm here with you guys and then I can tidy it up afterwards. Especially whenever I'm dipping into so many different stamp sets. Pop you in there. And what goes in here? My bear. Oh, Sizzix recently created one. Interesting. I've not seen that yet. Gotta check that one out. 
don't know whether I will do a burger or not. I don't know, we'll see. I might end up coming back to all of these. Once I've built up the scene a bit more and figured out what I'm gonna do. So, ice cream in with the lions. And Eric or Archie. And a cake. And a glass. Awesome. And these ones will have to be done the old fashioned way. Some fussy cutting. I always think to myself that oh, I'll, one day I'll just go and like treat myself to the dies of the stamp sets that I don't have dies for, like some of these older ones. Like Life is Good and Lovable Legends. But every time I do that, I always end up going, oh, I could just buy another stamp set. <laughs> They're not expensive at all. Automotive shops, they use it for nuts and bolts. Probably much less expensive. Yeah, might be the same supplier for physics, probably. Probably. Yes, I will um, keep an eye out for one whenever. Hello. Whenever I am. Um, I'm next in Guildford or wherever. I know that there may be a. Like car shop type of thing. Yeah, my brother has one. My brother's a mechanic. Although he's a mechanic in Ireland, so it's not like I can just swing by his house and be like, hey, do you have a thing that I can steal from you? <laughs> I mean, borrow. One cute little sand castle coming right up. Uh, I'm debating whether to go up. I did it. And shell. <laughs> I wish I could get a set of all the food. <laughs> all the food in my Heffy Doodle set. I don't know, I think my inner Hungry Heffy Crafts comes out. That's what it, I hadn't even realized because I just wanted accessories and then I was like, oh, they're quite greedy, these critters of mine. <laughs> I thought it would be fun to do maybe in a future release like a picnic basket or something. Wouldn't that be really fun? A little sandwich to tie in with my greedy little friends. Nice. If I don't buy the dies for the stamps, I never end up with the dies. Yeah, I guess, I don't know. Um, I think maybe it's becoming more popular, but for me, it um, it doesn't seem like, I don't know, maybe I'm just shopping in, the, in different places. 
it's only really been recently where the stamps and dies have been sold like as a bundle and usually when it is bundled it's like stupidly good value so i mean like how can you say no but yes i i would like that here in australia it's sometimes hard to get all the things sometimes hard to get them over here in the uk as well That's the problem, isn't it? Wasn't that we want them all. Boop. Right, I'm gonna stamp another one of these guys. <laughs> all the heavy little food. You just have to build up your little collection. But I do think it's fun that you can mix the food from like one stamp set to another. That's what I was going for. I reckon this is going to be one of those situations where I just stamp far too many things. Like I don't have a clear plan. <laughs> Sometimes what I do, she seen me the way I like laid it out on top of a a die um sometimes i do that and i just lay out all the stamps like right one on top of the other and figure out an exact placement for everything and then um sometimes i'll like take a photo of it on my phone so that i can remember whenever i start stamping and everything Come on, my little palm tree. Where's my acrylic block? Oh, it's right here. Silly sausage. I have a running written wish list. What's that? Um, of just general stuff that you want to buy. <laughs> I have kind of tried to not look too closely. There's loads that I really, really want, like the mama elephant. What did they call it? The norm cats or something? And the, the, oh, what was it called? It was like called something like um, the, the planner dogs and planner cats and things. Um, yeah, there's, there's like, those ones just seem so cute and I really wanted them but my thought was if I don't have time to sit and play with even the ones that I do have right now I'm not going to have time to um, play with new ones sad but true So I'll have a plate for the cake, a plate for the cupcakes, and I'll do another plate just in case. Just in case I want it later on. And I need another glass. Megan likes fussy cutting. Elizabeth hates fussy cutting. Oh dear, you poor thing. I don't mind it. I think it can be therapeutic, but I also think that um, I could say, oh, I could be doing something else, you know. Let's give these guys a little color in very quickly. At least this guy. And then we can start looking at a scene. 
of some description. I had to buy the crowd of cats that Jennifer McGuire used to replace some of the dogs. Yes, I really, really enjoyed that. I, I loved it. Um, but I, I don't like using, that's a lie, I do like using them. I try not to buy stamps, which are one trick ponies. Is that awful? Is that a horrible thing to say? So if it's like a stamp set that is, it's kind of, it's all, almost like a finished scene already, then that's not something that I would spend my money on because I think it's because I don't often, what have I done with that cupcake? Did I not cut it out yet? Nope, it's ready to be cut. Um, I think it's because I don't very often make the same card twice. So if it's a stamp set that when you stamp it, you get pretty much the same result, then I'm less likely to buy that. I love that stamp though. I thought it was super cute. And there was one that, um, there was it. Christina Werner used the same stamp. And if you haven't seen it yet, you guys have to go and check it out. Um, she used exactly the same stamp, but she made one of them into like um, Batman or Batcat, whatever you want to call it. And it was just adorable. So sweet. Lots of glossy accents and things on hers. Real fun. My recent splurge was some poppy power puppy floral stamps. Floral stamps is another thing that I don't have an awful lot of. They're more cutesy cutesy. Do you have a few though? Let's cut all these little guys in. And a little, just a little touch of color for the inside. It's nothing much. I have to fussy cut with some of the ones I'm missing dies. What scissors do you use to fussy cut? <laughs> Crafty YouTube videos are bad for my wish list, that's true. Meg says that she has so many scissors, but my absolute favorite is Martha Stewart. Stewart, sorry. You get them on Amazon for a great price. Ooh, cool. Cutter B Teflon ones. Nice. So I got these ones recently. And um, they're quite nice size, but my personal opinion is Right, listen, put it near the microphone. Can you hear the click, the like clicky noise? It's because it's got what they call a micro serrated edge, which makes them really strong, which is great. But it also leaves this tiny little like serrated edge, which you won't be able to see on here. But if you look really close, it's like got little grooves. So if I exaggerate it a lot, like on the cut, if you cut along like here on the edge, it's like there's little lines all the way along it. So Piper likes it because mommy's got hers and piper's got her she likes them because they're piper sized of course is what she said to me i like these ones because they're piper sized although at the moment she's not allowed to touch scissors <laughs> because because she cut her hair <laughs> it's probably like a month or so ago now and it wasn't significant but 
she did like a bit on her, above her left ear and a bit above her right ear. So if you scrape her hair back into a ponytail, <laughs> there's like a little tuft on either side that falls down. Like I say, it's not significant at all. Um, so we can laugh about it. Of course, we didn't laugh about it in front of her because it could have been a lot worse. But we told her that she's now not allowed to touch scissors unless she has an adult present and she must ask permission. And so far, I think she's abiding by the laws. <laughs> Those are Tim's, right? Yeah, they're the tonic ones. Oh, yeah, it says Tim has them, tonic ones. They're great little scissors. I mean, they're really um, sturdy and everything. Judykins has a great small micro tip set and super cheap and good quality. Oh, good. Cool. Lots of options. Pop you over there. I still go back to my Fiskars. Diamond edge. Dima edge. Right. Let me see how this is going to come together. I think I might need a little bit of colour on my sky. And maybe a little bit of colour around the edge of my sea. And raise this up a little bit. And I'm going to have my picnic blanket around about here, I think. And I'll have, oh, <laughs> you cute. I have my well, it's not quite the right color to match the sand, but I think we can make it work. Have my sand castle. Oh, Eric, you look lovely. We can be a bit of a jaunty angle. And there's so not enough room for all my junk. He can be all like, hi, I want to have some too. Told you my picnic blanket wouldn't be big enough. Did I tell you that or did I just think that? But it does look like a picnic blanket, which is fun. Oh, how old is she? She is, um, Piper is six. <laughs> yeah. She's six, going on 16, if you know what I mean. She's just little sassy pants. Oh, we're looking good. I think we need some, do you think he's gonna have some cake? Or maybe he's gonna have a, oh, it's not moving. Um, is he gonna have some cake? Or he's gonna have the lolly maybe? Oh my gosh, I'm loving these. These are so much fun. Love them together. Okay, they're kind of moving around every which way, but that's fine. So I'll stick them all down in a little bit. I think he's going to have a kick. I'll colour in his mouth in a bit. I like the different voices. The different voices? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? Oh, I said something and then forgot that I said it. Because that happens. More than you might think. Okay, I think my scene is taking shape. Let's add some um, color to the background. I'm going to 
I think I'm going to try and squeeze a little bit more. Oh, do you know what I might do? I might do some ink blending with my brushes. So because I had to go into Guildford today, I did actually go to the pound shop so that because I needed, I wanted to pick up a couple more brushes and I wanted to pick some up for Snow as well because she very kindly um, sent me all this stuff and I said to her that I would pick some up for her whenever I was next in the pound shop. And I went in and they didn't have any. They had blusher brushes, they had eye shadow brushes, and all sorts of things had those like weird spongy things for doing your foundation but i did not have any of these but um hopefully i'll get back in on a few <laughs> i used a different voice for each character did i that was completely unintentional <laughs> I'm a bit nuts like that sometimes. <laughs> Looking cute, Lizzie. Oh, thank you. How does my card look? <laughs> I'm so funny for a Friday night. I haven't even added my son. I don't know whether I want my son in there. Maybe that's too much. Let's start the sticking down. I need my ruler. It's a real problem whenever you start packing up things to go to the um, the crafts place because you cannot find anything. And I've run out of tape in my... Oh, there it is. I ran out of tape in my ATG gun. Have you guys got an ATG gun or anything like that? Yeah, I've run out of tape on, on it. It went through a phase of not actually sticking very well. So it was becoming a bit more of a hassle than I wanted it to be. Unfortunately. Right, this beast needs a bit of colour to it, my water, before I start sticking it down. But what colour is the question? <laughs> Maybe... No. I think Mermaid Lagoon and stuff might be a bit too. Peacock feathers. That is what I need. Or maybe even Broken China. I'm going to go for Peacock feathers. A little bit of Peacock feathers. Oh no, I don't fall. Just want a little bit of um, depth, really, colour on the edges. I think it helps make it pop a little. Oh. There we go. Lovely jubbly. I always try to take as much ink off the pad as I can before I pull it off because then I, <laughs> I my left fin forefinger is always um, slightly inky to say the least. Ooh. Looks pretty gross. I have an ATG gun and uh, a pink one. <laughs> and, um, oh, hold on, what's up there? I love the ATG, didn't think I would because it's big, but it's great. Um, 
So I loved it for like, I don't know, six months. And then maybe I got a dodgy batch or something. Does Piper like Shopkins? Oh, hold on. Um, yes, she does. I bought you a gift from World Market and broke two in the process of one getting one off the top shelf. Oh, sweet. She does like Shopkins. That'd be awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> I have an ATG gun and a pink one. I have an ATG. I use it when doing a lot of cards at once. Okay, so is there a difference between the pink one and the yellow one? I have the pink. I have the yellow one. And I have hate started to hate it. <laughs> um, so it's not a heat gun for embossing I'll show you mine oh, it's this and yes it looks like a beast but you put like adhesive in here and yeah it's a little bit convoluted because you have to go like round here up here down here over the top put it on here so you get one reel that goes here and then you feed it round and to sort of attach it and then as you use it this one shrinks and this one grows but for me it's almost like the adhesive as it was coming off here was catching on this so it became really gummy and then this whenever you you run it along wasn't actually dispensing like a full line of adhesive it was like I don't know some was there and some was not maybe I've got the wrong one or maybe I've got a dodgy batch and I just need to give it another try. I really miss it because it was super strong and also it um, it was so handy so handy but we'll see I can't spend all my money on adhesives <laughs> foam tip <laughs> What is an ATG? Is that the big pink thing that most people use in their crafty videos? Probably. <laughs> Probably. I don't have that. I just have my Nouveau glue and tape runner. Yeah. Or well, tape runner. If you have like one of these, um, they're good. I like this one because it's, it's got dots on it. So I really like that. Um, but sometimes I think that this isn't as strong. So I want to, use, like for this piece, for example, I'm going to stick down these two panels together. So I want something a bit stronger. But, I mean, my ATG gun would have been perfect for this instead of having to cut a couple of strips of sticky tape. But it's hardly the end of the world. <laughs> there was a bad batch of adhesive out there a while ago. Oh, interesting get Craig to load it for you that's what my sons are for <laughs> I um, I didn't mind loading it I thought it was fun but um, yes you kind of need to watch the video every time so it's a tape runner like for packaging um, it looks like one for packaging like you know the one that you get for the big thick packing tape it kind of has that kind of a feel because it's big and bulky like that. Let me get it again. <coughs> this. But the end section here, I mean that's only an inch. And whenever you put the tape on it, you can get I think six mil and like and you can't even see that really. Six mil and about twelve mil. So it's, it looks like about this on it. So it's just like a dispenser for putting down a line of like double-sided tape like I say I really did love it until I hated it which is how it goes sometimes okay let's stick this guy down I'm gonna use my glue dots This is gonna go over here, I think. And then my makeshift plaid rug. I think. 
think it is a problem with the tape. Okay, well, I'll, maybe I'll buy another batch. More money to spend. But I'll give it another shot because I miss it. Hi, Ian. Off-Kilter Crafter is here. Yay. Ian, I am um, mixing up my stamps tonight. I'm using some Heffy Doodle stamps with some lawn fawn bits and pieces and some dies lots of fun just gonna pull out my smaller glue dots for these little guys and we had a bit of a vote because i did not prepare for tonight um we had a bit of a vote on um whether to do a picnic at the beach or a picnic in the forest <laughs> Thank you for the lovely card that you sent me. Oh, amazing. You are most welcome, my dear. Let's stick this in a little wee bit further. Oh, that looks like it's a bit too high up. Come on. I want to give the impression that it's a bit taller than it actually is. I'll figure out where that's going to go in a second whenever I stick these other ones on. I have a Xyron Mega Runner. Oh, right. Okay. wonder what that is. A Xyron Mega Runner. Is it the same kind of concept? And it's easy to load the refills. Mm. Cool. I must to check that out. I love mixing and matching too. It's one of my favorite things to do. Mm -hmm. And I've made some makeshift like plaid colors here. They're a bit dim. What am I gonna do here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I was, I was making a makeshift plaid with some line stamps. I think it turned out okay, don't you? Let's put this in here. I'll try and try and hide the gap with his hand. Oh yeah, I've not done his mouth. Emergency Copic alert. Let them see. We shall colour in a dark bit of his mouth like that. And then give him a little pink tongue. There we go. We love eating cake. Nom 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 nom. That's the voice of the bear. This is, I think this is my favorite bear. He just seems like he loves to eat. Just like Heffy. I have the ATG like you, but I find myself reaching for my Scotch tape runner. What's the Scotch tape runner? Is it a small one, you know, like this kind of thing? Or is it, a, is it another beast? Like the ATG. I'm definitely on the market for an alternative. Oh, silly old thing that doesn't want to stay. Yes, an alternative one. I like that. So, Ian, have you seen the... Um, the Heffy Doodle range. There's a little, um, what you call it? A little pole at the top. If you get a chance, join in. I'm asking some people what their favorite um, Heffy Doodle stamps are. If you've seen them at all on our Kickstarter page, which I'm super pleased about. Yay! I still can't believe that we reached our funding go within like 24 minutes it just it's so amazing 
I love my little heffy doodlers. All that hard work paying off. Let me see. Um, put this guy away here. Don't let me forget about the, the bucket and spade. Donna says, just bought my first lawn fun stamp. Uh-oh, I'm sorry, but now you are addicted. That's how it works. <laughs> I'm afraid that is exactly how it works. Once you buy one lawn fawn, there's no going back, I'm afraid. Mm. Don't know where I'm gonna put all of these. I don't wanna be I don't wanna be overwhelming. He definitely needs his bottle of whatever that is. Not ketchup tonight. <laughs> So I was going to maybe add some of the orangeade idea, but I think it looks quite subtle at the moment and I don't want to ruin it. I got it with some goodies from Craft Atelier in Spain, ordered on the 2nd of July. Wow, that's awesome. And Donna, you're in the UK, aren't you? I'm pretty sure you're on the UK. Oh, here, I forgot about this again. I don't know. I don't know. Do you think that will be too busy there? Might depend on what else I'm going to add at the front. Feels weird because I don't have blanket that goes the whole way down. Maybe I just need to put their drinks on the front without the um, cupcakes. I don't want to overdo it. Wine, it's a bottle. So Ian, you may have missed it. <laughs> Is this the Kuyo Ko? Yeah, Ko Kuyo, Ko Kuyo, yeah. Um, you, may, you might have missed it. So I did a card, I think I have it here. Let me go grab it, it's funny. Um. <laughs> oh, do I have it? Oh yeah, yeah. So I made a card. This was a card I did on a live crafting stream a few weeks ago. So I made this in advance so that I could make a card um, on the stream, but kind of give you give everyone an idea of what they're going to make. So I made it and I went in to show Craig, my hubby, and I was like, oh, look. Oh. And he was like, why is he holding a bottle of ketchup? <laughs> it's supposed to be wine. <laughs> I don't drink, so that's my that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. I don't know what wine looks like, <laughs> even though I use it for cooking. Shh, don't tell anyone. Oh man, yeah. I need to go and grab my dye for this guy. <laughs> oh, you get the Kokuyu dot liner in this from Office Works. That's cool. <laughs> Do you miss back when there weren't releases every month? I miss seeing a set of stamps utilized in many different ways. Do you miss when there weren't releases every month? I miss seeing. Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> are you saying that now there's like too many releases, so you don't get to see um, the same? You don't get to see as many projects using one stamp set as in previously stamp set was released and you may have seen maybe 10 different projects whereas now you're only seeing like a couple different projects is that what you mean i guess the thing is the craft industry is growing as well so there's a lot more like stamp set stamp companies and things out there as well but yeah I like to see things used in different ways that's I actually I, I that's one of the reasons why I like to mix and match things because if I'm not affiliated obviously I'm affiliated now with heavy doodle because I make the make the things but um, if I'm not really affiliated with any other 
STEM companies, then I can mix and match. So for example, if like when I worked for Honey Bee, when you're making a project for Honey Bee, then you only are allowed to use Honey Bee products. So then if you want to look for, at the design team, then they, they'll only be using Honey Bee products. Um, but for me, I'm like, well, I want to mix and match. I want to show people that there's versatility. But then with the design teams and things, it's, it's different. Because you have to realize that you're marketing that company and you can't, oops, you can't kind of be riding somebody else's marketing wave, right? And that's why whenever I'm making my cards on Hungry Heavy Crafts, I love to mix it up. Here we go, get your, get your juice, little man. I'm gonna add this guy here. I think I'm gonna pop him up and I'm gonna color this in. And um, I think that'll work or is it too big? I'm gonna color him red and blue. Emergency Copic alert. I agree that all the stamp companies are putting out too many stamp releases. Yeah, loads of people have asked me, like this has been their exact question. Are you doing a release every month? And I mean, to be honest, my, <laughs> my, my, my instinct answer was, oh my gosh, I've not even, um, <laughs> I've not even thought about, like, I've not even thought about like a schedule. Everything is just so new still. So I feel bad that I don't have an answer to their question, but I don't know whether they're asking me, are you going to have a release every month because they want it every month? Or are they asking me, am I going to have a release every month because they don't want it every month? What's your thoughts? You guys can tell me. Tell me. It's nice to have variety, but it seems that it, it seems that at least I feel like I have to have them all. Yeah. I like that Longfond does a couple of larger releases during the year. Yeah, but we still end up spending an absolute fortune on them. <laughs> well, maybe that's just me. Tip to tip, tip to tip, tip tip. I think it's overwhelming every month. Trying to keep your cards up to date to show off recent sets can be difficult. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, Krista, we're making a little beach picnic scene. It's been really fun so far. I hope you guys are all having fun watching me get crafty with it. Right, let me see. I think I'm going to attack this with a white gel pen in a little bit. Let's have a Lello handle to my blue bucket. And I haven't done this to the actual sand but I'll give it a few little dots I like the idea oh hold on what time is it there right now it is quarter past 11 at night which means it's still early <laughs> I usually end up crafting the night away Although um, I said earlier that I can't be too late tonight because um, I've got a craft fair tomorrow. In there. So I have to be somewhat sensible. But I think this card is coming along nicely. I haven't decided what I want my... Um, am I going to put like a greeting or something on here? I don't know. Let's get you little pop dot little dude. Oh, actually, 
let's use my, my new beast. So let's see if this is going to work. It's either going to be super sticky like the other one that I hate or hopefully, fingers crossed, it's like the 3M one. And I don't have to spend more money <laughs> on the uh, two inch version. That was on Amazon. Oh, that cuts a lot better so far. Mm. Yeah, so the thing is, it, it's so sticky that when you cut and then you pull it off, it leaves some residue on your stickers. That's not all from the tape, by the way. But also, you can see where it's like ripped off the adhesive. It's not shiny, so it's ripped off some of the adhesive on this side. So, I think 3M is going to work the best. Bonnie says, I feel like I'm always trying to keep up. Ah, so what's the perfect, um, what's the perfect, oh no, release rate for a year? Don't push yourself too hard. Every few months is fine for me. That way I know you put your heart and dedication into it and didn't put something out there just to put it out. Oh, that's so sweet. And that's true. And that's why, I mean, this this first release has taken me ages, mostly because I work <laughs> and, and I wanted to get it right. And, you know, if I was going to do it, if I'm going to release my own Sam's, I want to make sure that I'm super happy with them so I tweaked them so much I think Craig was getting super annoyed and I was like just just move on to the next one I'm like oh I just want to make it just right <laughs> you're so cute little crab well this needs some wink of Stella doesn't it that's why I buy what I really really like this way I hope to use the stamp sets over and over for a long time even though like you all I suffer from wanting them all. Yeah. And that's what I'm thinking, right? Is that I think you're going to have some people who have the luxury of um, having money that they can spend on it, on things. But I mean, I'm pretty sure that for people like me, where it's, until recently, <laughs> a hobby and you're not making any money of it, that it's, um, it, you just can't be spending all your cash on stamps. I'm so picky, so I try not to get too many, except if I love them. The only one I still regret was the May Hero Arts release. Oh, what was it? What was that? I want to know what it was. Do you think we could add like a little cupcake or something in here? Or am I going to like overwhelm this? I don't want to overwhelm it. I think I need something now. Do I need something? Hmm. Is there any other sea creature that would come and join the fun? I'll give this guy some uh, dark eyes to really pop. And this is like my favorite thing to do. A little glaze pen. Oops, I am dropping everything to noise. I'm also very stiff because I did hit training on Wednesday night again, which is just um, like I'm really proud of myself that I'm doing it. But it just kills me so much. I could add a little sun like that. That might work. I think I need something here. Maybe another shell. Let's see what I've got. You guys are going to the the dish. 
I'm not all of you for nothing. Um, I wish we could have met up. I know Ian came over to the UK, but it, it just didn't work out. We tried to do it, but it didn't work. I think we're... Were, was I away whenever you were away, when you were nearby or something like that? I can't even remember. Maybe I was working. If any of you guys come over, you got to tell me. <laughs> Krista says, it's hot here right now, pina colada would be nice. Actually, Maria, my craft way to happiness, who was here earlier, she said that on one of the next ones I need to do a little like a martini glass or something. I thought that was a really fun idea. I was like, oh yeah, I definitely need to get that in. To one of my future releases. Um, the Mermaids with a limited mix. Oh, I saw that one. I saw that one, yes. It's really, it was really nice. That's annoying that it was a limited one. Poo. Oh, I could have this guy. Oh, you can't see. He could join the party, couldn't he? Hello. Is there any cake for me? He could join the party. Let's see what else we've got. Uh, 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 uh. Unbelievable. No. Or I've got little tiny shells from the mermaid stamp set. That could work. Let me try the dude. I think he's cool. Oh, you are going to be too far away. I remember. I know, and it seems silly because compared to like the US, the um, the UK is teeny weeny, teeny weeny weeny. Will you fit on there? This is another one that I don't have a. Aha. I don't have a die for. One of the older ones. What is the lawn fawn set that you are using? Any guesses out there? Um, Craig and I, I will tell you in a second. Craig and I um, play the game. Do you follow, you guys, do you follow someone on Instagram called Cards by Sharna? So she did this photo of all these like die cuts and they were all over her table or something. And they're in like little bags and they were all colored in. And <laughs> she she said my name or said on it like my name is Sharna and I like to color or I have a coloring problem something like that and I thought it was really funny and Craig and I played the game I said right Craig come on let's play the name that stamp game <laughs> and I got him to name as many stamps as he could <laughs> he did pretty well all things considered bless him He's like, I don't know, the pressure was too great. So, the stamps that I am using boop, 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 is this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. Let me grab it. It's called Life is Good, which is this. And I have used the Blah Bunny for the rug, which is from Honeybee Stumps. And then I used the edge of this to do some of the lines on my plaid. And I used this dot here to do some of the, the dots on the plaid. And also the sun, and this is called Sunday Stroll from Mama Elephant. So I use this one and this one and this one. I'll just put that away. So I don't want to lose it. Still need to get some of those small and um, smaller stamp pockets. Haven't quite got that far yet. My dad just arrived in the UK yesterday. Which part is he at? Elizabeth. <laughs> Thinking about Christmas for me. Ooh, cool. I do in zip bags. 
My husband couldn't name a single stamp set. He knows some of my favourite companies, so I give him credit for that. Yeah. <laughs> Craig's got in quite an expert recently. So we've got Sunday Straw from Mum Elephant, Life is Good from Lawn Fawn, uh, Critters of the Sea from Lawn Fawn, Happy Snappy Crocs from Heffy Doodle, um, Unbearable Without You from Heffy Doodle, and um, then some like the ice cream is from from the Adorable Lions and this was from the Elephants but we're not using that today. So let me colour this little guy in. And I'm going to try and make him a bit pinkier. Because why not? I don't really know what to colour to do his shell. What colour are shells? Are they grey? Grey? I don't know. Or like a tan kind of colour? It kind of looks a bit boring when you do that. Maybe put a hint of blue in there. Why not? Oh, it looks a bit muddy now. We can give him some sparkle though. Lots of beautiful sparkle. So do you think we need a greeting for up here? I had pulled out this stamp set. Where is it? I thought maybe we could put something along the top, but it might be too big now because there's a lot going on in this card. A lot of fun. Craig and Mark and Helen are barbecue planning. Nothing like discussing a barbecue at half eleven at night. Okay. Nearly there. Hello. Think he's gonna work? Kind of covers a lot of Eric though. He's gonna be like, I'll have your drink. <laughs> okay, good. Life is good and heffy doodle is all I need. <laughs> Absolutely. Wokingham's near me. Yeah, Wokingham's near me. Probably not that far. Hubby says they're dark green. Ooh. There's a big thunderstorm starting to come through where I live. I'm surrounded by my kitties. Oh, poor thing. <gasps> that would be awesome. Wish you were here. Wouldn't it? Where am I going to put him? Maybe... Nah. Okay, I'm just going to stick them on. Because it's getting late. I'm going to go back to Old Faithful. I wish that, um, I wish I could find a cheaper alternative. Never mind. Too big. I say go with a smaller greeting. Yeah, I think maybe like a little banner, maybe even on black to kind of pop. 
like white embossing powder against black. I do have a couple of like clearly besotted stamp sets and things which are um, a much smaller size. I'm going to move this and put him here and put that there. Rebel made a choice. Oh, I love it so far. <laughs> right, let's have a look at these other ones. I wonder if there is like a wish you were here or something. What have we got here? Keep in touch. You make me happy. Sending love, fabulous friend. Thinking of you. Happy holidays. That sounds fun. Or you make me happy. Happy holidays. That's more Christmassy though, right? A little note. Shout if you see anything. Apart from the new Happy Doodle kits. <laughs> That's right. Happy Doodle is the best right now. <laughs> I can say that. <laughs> I do like the new Hero Arts July kits. Also the garland stuff. Oh, that's cool. Has it got like flowers and things in it? Hmm. I never noticed that says hobby. Oh, by the way, I've, this has got a heavy doodle thing in it, but it's not heavy doodle. I was just trying to see um, whether the insert would work. Like whenever I didn't have my samples back yet, I was trying to figure out. Because the first one I did um, wasn't tall enough so it went over the top like the stamp set when you put the stamp set in it covered some of the things so keep in touch that might be good sneak peek what are you talking about what do you mean sneak peek let's see what else there is i think we definitely need to do i'm a heffy doodle wish you were here wouldn't that be fun what else have I got here? Thinking of you always. You make me smile. Thank you very much. I have you in my heart. Sending warm fuzzies. Hmm. Oh, let me cut out my sun because I may or may not decide to do it. What did I do with it? Did I just throw it in the bin? The sun has been retrieved. Zelly sausage. Gotta run. Thanks for letting me join the fun. Thank you for joining me. Keep an eye on your post. Oh, yay, Happy Meal. Thank you. Oh, I love Happy Meal. That, oh, that's so much fun. You've given me um, a big, massive smile now. Bye, Zibo. Okay, one sunshine coming right up. I'm not sure whether this, this might, especially if I'm going to put a greeting up there, it might off balance it a bit more. We'll see. It looked like a sneak peek with Hefty Packaging. Oh, yes, indeed. In fact, there was a couple of times when I, I, because I've been working on this for months, so I had samples and stuff. And there was a couple of times when I was doing my videos or photos or whatever that I had to very quickly pull down a whole lot of things in the background or in the background where I have my stamps in my, like, I normally just tuck the heffy doodle once at the front and then on the video you would see it and I'm like, oh no, no, I can't do that, it's all secret. Secret, secret, the moment. I don't know whether I like that. Thoughts. 
I'm opening this up to the jar the a um what do they call it? Oh I haven't still done yet. A jury of my peers or something like that. What colour are you gonna do? The crab. I've done the crab. You mean this guy? He's coloured in. Is it really hard to see on the stream? He's like a light pink. Ah. Do you see him? Maybe he's not bright enough for the... Bright enough for the thing to pick it up. I've lost everything. Where's my... What do I do then? Oh, right here. One oh four backers. Yay! Woohoo! Boop boop boop. <laughs> oh, it's so lovely. I just can't wait for everyone to, to get them. Okay, thoughts on the sun, my dear friends. Is it a yes or is it a no? And maybe I should do like a greeting coming off to the side. Let me pull out some Ideas. Ideas. I've got the word summer. Happy summer. Too small, I think. Thank you so, so much. You're a star. Let's celebrate. Happy birthday, of course. What's that? I thank my lucky stars for you. Not really appropriate that much. inspired definitely greeting to the side make it move like they've been at the beach all day <laughs> yes to the sun you can just see when you hold your hand up cool hey Carrie we're trying to figure out what greeting to add I think if we could get a greeting that was maybe like two or three inches long but really not that tall that would work. Happy birthday to a great friend. That's a possibility. Happy birthday to a great friend. I remembered your birthday. That's funny. Or just, here we go. Here we go. This is it. This is it. This is it. S uh, sending you sunshine and laughter. I think I see it might. Don't you think? Yes to the sun. Make that so. Life's a beach. Oh, there might be one. Oh, I don't want to do life's a beach. Sounds like rudeness. And rudeness is not on my cards. <laughs> <laughs> Summer holidays could work, perhaps. But I like this one. What do you think? Sending you sunshine and laughter. Boop. Sending you sunshine and laughter. I really like that now. I think I need to put it on black. Black, black, black. I will use my little mini mishti. Perfect greeting. Yay! That's what I thought. And I haven't even um, cut it up yet. It might even be too long. I think I'm going to stamp it and then trim it. Otherwise, I'll like I'll not put it too close to the edge. Is what I'm trying to say. We're going to emboss it. Grab my stuff. I'm going to use 
my stinky, stinky one. That I absolutely detest the smell of. I should probably change, <laughs> change the powder. Who's got time for that? Yay, Bunny Dub is back. Bunny Dub is nearly done. Woo! We're just adding a greeting. I do need a sticker on our card as well. Do, 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 do. Sending you sunshine and laughter. That was worth all that hunting. So in case you guys ask, this is from the Hero Arts Everyday Sayings. Oh, bing. Somebody's pinging me. Reminds me of Morecambe and Wise. <laughs> Isn't it baby powder? Yeah, I think so. Baby powder or something, some sort of powder. I'm sure I can replace it easily enough. Oh, don't. Just haven't got that far yet. Normally I have my little baggy. That works just as well. Back in your drawer, little baby Misty. There is a rogue, um, little, what's the word? Crystal? No. Grain of powder. There we go. Nothing a pokey tool can't fix. Right, guys, I'm going to um, use my heat gun, so mute yourselves. Or here, I might be able to mute you. Actually, hold on. Craig said there was a mute button. He said there was a mute button. I do not see this mute button. Oh, it's right here. Okay. I'm going to mute you while I do my hate gun. Okay, so you guys need to tell me, one, if that actually worked, <laughs> because I don't know whether it did or not, um, and um, two, that you can now hear me. <gasps> hey, Elizabeth, you're back on Kickstarter. Thank you so much. Whoop, whoop. What does that mean? Does that mean we've got another one, or do you mean beforehand? Let me see. 104. Oh, look at that. 5599. Nine. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I'm going to go for I'm going to go for my craft knife for this one. It worked and I can hear. Yes. That is good to know, especially because um, snow is really sensitive to it. So I think I need to grab my, um, what do you call it? The pen knife one? Pen blade. It's much sharper than this beast. Cool. Thank you, my dear ladies. So I wanted to ask Angharad, um, is that a Welsh name? Is it Welsh? Or have I just made that up? Sometimes I just make things up. I don't mean to. Oh, yeah. 
off. It's looking so pretty. Oh, that needs a that needs a wee strip of um, foam on there, I reckon. Pop it up. Ah, oh, it's so sticky. <laughs> so sticky. See, this is what I mean. Look. Annoying. Yes, it's Welsh. Cool. I was wondering whether I said it right. Is it Anharad? Angharad? Although, of course, history tells me that when I ask you guys how it's said, I can't hear you. So <laughs> it's really hard for you to tell it back. <laughs> Looks like it will be a great first run of stamps. Oh, thank you so much for saying that. I'm glad that the response has been so um, amazing. And um, the good news is as well that um, we're trying to speak to some retailers too that may be interested in stocking Heffy Doodle. So... That's pretty much me living the dream. <laughs> but just in case any of you guys are wondering, um, those people who back us on Kickstarter will absolutely get theirs first before anybody or anything. You guys are our priority. So I had thought about maybe putting this onto a blue card, but I changed my mind. I don't know. I don't know why. I just did laziness, probably. The first way you said it is right. Anharat, I think it was. <laughs> this is what I do every time. I'm, I say it right, and then I say it wrong, and then I, I'm told <laughs> that I said it right, and then I forget it. <laughs> a lot of stuff stuck on this um, front panel so I'm going to add some sticky sticky on here this is where I miss my ATG gun it was just nice going boom 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 and not have to poke off all these doodles Is it? Oh, you did put a little sun. I did. I changed my mind in the end. I used one from Sunday Strolls. Night, night, my darling Elizabeth. Sweet dreams. I hope you have sweet dreams of ink pads and stamp sets and dyes. So what sweeter dreams could there be? Boom. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're banned from sitting next to each other. It's like being back at school. <laughs> <laughs> Sending you sunshine and laughter. Oh, sorry, I keep realizing that there's like a shadow. I moved the table back so that it wasn't as much of a shadow. But um, there is still a shadow a little bit. Oh, my stomach just growled. Did you guys hear that? 
shouldn't be growling. We had a big dinner. Add a little more sparkle to my sand. Do 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 do. Just a little more sparkle to my critters. They are enjoying their food. <laughs> I need a little bit more of it stick down there. Let's give you another glue dot. There we go. It is the perfect greeting. I'm glad that I found it. I'm glad that my little limp plaid turned out as well. Let me hold it up and see if it'll. Oh, it's doing that weird thing. I'm going to try and... Okay. I'm going to press a button. It might go weird. Um, webcam. Whoa. Autofocus. Can you see? <laughs> Odd question, Leslie. You know your fridge stamp container. How deep is what is my fridge stamp? Oh yes. How deep is the bit that the stamps sit in? I've got two I'm looking at and they have two different stamp sets. Let me put this up high so you guys can see it. One second. And then I shall go and measure it for you. Um to find something it can sit on. Teal vase. This is one of my photography tools <laughs> to get my nice blur down here. Can you see that? Okay. Um, <laughs> it's been on me about to take out the picnic. <laughs> so true. So true. <laughs> um, let me go and measure that for you. Do you want centimeters or do you want inches? Your picnic rug is fabulous. Thank you. I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. It looks like patterned paper almost, isn't it? I think it's so cool. Do you want them centimeters or inches or shall I just do both? I had a measuring tape here earlier because I bought myself a pair of leggings. And now I've moved it. I don't know where it is. So I'll just have to use my ruler. Centimeters, please. Okay, great. It's 15 centimeters. Yeah, 15 centimeters. Although I have another one which is 10 centimeters. And the 15 centimeter one definitely works better, in my opinion. The 10 centimeter one, um, I have my like my dies in that one, and most of my dies are in the smaller, like this size, um, small thing. So it's fine because it goes up to 10 centimeters, so it sits like along here. Um, but then for my stamp sets, because most of them are this size, I like the one with the 15 centimeters, so it kind of holds it in nice and snug. Yeah, and I bought mine on Amazon. So, yeah. I think, I think not if, when, <laughs> when I buy another one, I will buy the taller one. Although, in saying that, I had to buy a bigger one, which is wider, for those big, wide stump sets that I showed you guys the last time. But there you go. Right, I hope you guys have had fun. I have had fun. 
I have enjoyed mixing Heffy Doodle with my um, with Lonfon, my favorite Lonfon, some of my favorite Lonfon stamps, and seeing how they work together. Have you guys had fun? Have you learnt anything? I hope so. I am now going to sign off and say good night to you lovely friends because I have to prepare myself for the craft show tomorrow and I still don't really know whether I have everything that I need. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sis Suze. I love your new stamps. Yay, thank you. I'm looking at Kmart divided one that was lower or a single wider, deeper one. Oh yeah, cool. Well, I hope you find something that works for you. <laughs> Looks fabulous, Sis Bunny Dobby. I'm a super match for style. Yay, woo. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. Thanks for joining me. See you next week. What if I get anything else next week? What's happening next week? Oh, I, I'm in Chertsey next week, um, which means that I've got a little bit more of a journey to drive home, but I'm still planning on having a come craft with me. And if you guys have any um, ideas or you guys think um, that you want to you know, or like you have a stamp set and you're like, I really wish I could come up with an idea with this stamp set. Obviously, if I have that stamp set as well, then, you know, you can let me know and I can maybe pull it out and use some stuff. I love getting inspiration from you guys and I love also getting um, challenged as well. So, right, off to bed, Lisa. Sweet dreams, my dear. And um, sweet dreams to everybody else. And I shall see you next week for another Come Craft With Me session. Goodbye, my darlings, my little heffy doodlers. Love you all. Night, night.